Welcome back. So today, today we're going to talk about an email that I've gotten and I'm going to link that whole story below. So if you want a lot more detail about this, check out the link below about Nick. Nick who sent me an email the other day in a bit of a panic because his five-year-old son, who was perfectly healthy up until this particular point, suddenly couldn't see. Complained that he couldn't see. Nick took him to the optometrist. Uh, Nick took him to his general practitioners and both of them couldn't figure out anything wrong with Nick's kid's eyes. Does my nose look so bad? Anyway, they ended up, the optometrist ended up prescribing Nick's five-year-old kid minus five diopter glasses. And this is a really, I'm not doing this story justice, right? Because it's, you're fine, you have a little kid and everything's cool and it's just another day. And then the kid comes to you one day and just says, dad, I can't see, right? I mean, it's, it's a, it's a very frightening, jarring, crazy experience when your kid's eyesight suddenly seems to be vanishing, right? And you go to the optometrist and the optometrist says, I don't know what happened, but he needs these high diopter glasses. I mean, it's high myopia. We're going straight from, he can see perfectly fine to high myopia. So now you're looking at this progression and you go, well, this happened overnight, right? So now what happens next? Like, is this just one point and tomorrow it's going to be minus 10 like what is going on and the optometrist just doesn't know this is a very scary experience and if you have kids and if your kids don't wear glasses right now this can happen to your kids this can happen to anybody which is i guess why i'm making a video about it link below as always a lot more detail so he gets minus five diopter glasses Nick does research online. Nick finds the brilliant and genius and myopia, sends me an email, and I tell Nick to, once the doctor has checked, right? Always go to the doctor first. No question, absolutely. If the doctor just prescribes glasses and it's a sudden thing, especially like this, that happened is start out with not wearing those glasses. He's a little kid, he's not gonna drive, right? Instead, focus on outdoor activity, focus on dimensional vision. Focus on anything that doesn't involve staring at a screen. Uh, Nick mentioned in his email link below that his kid liked looking at microscopes and looking at all kinds of reading, looking at close-up stuff. And I said, no, no more of that. None of that, none of that at all. Focus on playing outdoors, even if it's winter. Focus on finding games that involve seeing things at a distance. Focus on trying to read things that are challenging to read. Focus on the distance vision. And sure enough, and again, I don't think I'm doing this justice, after some back and forth of emails and a day passed, Nick finally sends me another email saying, the kid can see perfectly fine again, no glasses, no minus five to up to high myopia, everything's cool. Which is curious, link below. So now you go, well, what happened? Like, what is it that the optometrist and the general practitioner, none of the, these, these doctors could figure out that was going on? And it's a very common thing. And you're probably not new to these videos. If you are, there's a muscle inside your eye, focusing muscle called the ciliary muscle that moves the lens in your eye that changes focus so you can see clearly distance and up close. That focusing muscle when you're up close is tense, right? If you keep it up close too long, long enough, it just doesn't fully relax when you look at a distance. And it's a ciliary spasm. It's just the focusing muscle spasms. It's commonly referred to as pseudomyopia. You can look it up on Google Scholar. There's tens of thousands of references to this. Science knows about this. Science knows, but retail optometry doesn't necessarily. So you end up going with your kid to the optometrist and the optometrist just says, I don't know what happened, but he can't see. So we're gonna correct his vision with glasses. What would happen if Nick wouldn't have found us and Nick would have stuck with the optometrist's advice is Nick would now have a five-year-old with high myopia. Because once those glasses are in front of the eyes and the ciliary spasm doesn't have the opportunity to relax because it doesn't once you're wearing those high diopter glasses, the eye will elongate, especially in a young child where the, where the eyeball is naturally still elongating, is looking 
for amyotropia, so you're, you're having an eyeball that's, that's actively looking to change its length, is now getting a signal that says you're too short, you need to grow longer. So that kid wearing those five do, minus five diopter glasses, promise you, if he wears them all the time, next year it would be minus six. And it would continue from there and it would be a really, really incredibly problematic journey into what would have no happy ending. Like once you have the high diopters and axial elongation of your eyeball, when your eyeball grows longer, which it will if you wear high diopter lenses, nothing good comes from it. So instead of all that though, like instead of the kid ending up with high myopia, instead of the kid wearing high diopter glasses, which he had already started doing, it's perfectly fine without glasses, right? All it took is getting away from the close-up and getting him to focus at distance, getting that focusing muscle to relax just a day or two, the kid is fine. And that's a significantly different outcome with a relatively small targeted effort. And now, of course, this needs to continue. And if you're watching this video, if you have kids or if you suddenly have myopic symptoms, like you suddenly can't see clearly at a distance, that's where you start off, you know, like get away from the screens for a while. Don't start with glasses if you're not yet wearing glasses. If you're already wearing glasses, totally different story. But if you're not wearing glasses yet, challenge your distance vision, right? You have your eyesight, your eyesight is not like your muscles in many ways, but it is similar in the fact that you can challenge your vision. It's not a passive thing necessarily, right? Like if the text looks a little bit blurry and you really wanna read it, you can read it, you can clear it up a little bit. We call it active focus, links to all that stuff below. Well, you can make a pretty significant difference in your long-term vision health by not going the glasses route necessarily. Now, like I said, if you're already wearing glasses, this is not necessarily applicable. Lots of other videos on the topic. And the important thing to recognize here is a ciliary spasm and pseudomyopia can be treated by you at home after you go to the optometrist, after you confirm that nothing else is wrong. That's it. That's it for today's video. Also, I joke a lot about this site about my luscious beard, which of course I never have a beard, but it's now growing, which would make this whole thing not a joke anymore. Hmm, what do you think about that? Anyway, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if you want. Subscribe or whatever. And that's it. See you in the next one. Thank you.